Item number four is obviously based on the best-selling book by Pittacus Law. How much free reign were you given with the, the actual characters and the storyline? It was kind of liberating as a filmmaker that, like, unlike a Harry Potter series, people already know every book and every move. People didn't know this book yet. It became a bestseller once we were already shooting, so we had already made our decisions, so we were stuck with them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have some very explosive scenes, and, you know, you got to basically ride around on a motorcycle and yeah. blow things up. Um, you know, was that great fun to play? Oh, yeah. It was such a flashy role. I, I remember reading the script and feeling instantly connected to her, and I thought, how empowering is that, that there's this woman who is so strong, and she comes in, and she gets to be the warrior of the film. And, I think that's a rarity in Hollywood to see that, so I was uh, very attracted to the role because of that. His powers are triggered by him falling in love and feeling these emotions for Sarah. Yeah, and he goes on this adventure trying to figure out his identity, he just wants normality, but um, he realises that's not his destiny. That was a very, very cool rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> very, very poetic. Yeah. Did you have to go through any combat training or any sort of yes. motorcycle training or anything? I like had that? to do both. I had to do a lot of combat training. Three months before we started shooting, I was working four to five hours a day, six days a week, learning how to do martial arts and how to kick and fight and punch and use an alien dagger, all those normal things that you <laughs> yeah. do. And you obviously had to work with a lot of CGI. Was that challenging for, for both of you? My job, the challenge is, is to make each frame as real as I possibly can so that they can use their imaginations as little as possible so they don't have to look at some guy holding a big cardboard monster going like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Even though there was a cardboard cut out. There was a cardboard cut. There was a cardboard cut. There was one scene where there was a cardboard cut out and I'm rolling back and I'm just remembering back to that moment there was this big cardboard claw and I had to dodge it. If you could have any power in the world as a superhero, what would you have? I would probably want to teleport. Yeah. I um, I think that'd be amazing for me because I'm from Australia and I wouldn't have to endure the 15-hour Qantas flight to Australia <laughs> every time I want to go home. So teleportation would be pretty amazing. What would you have? I think I'd have flying. Flying? Yeah. Everyone goes for flying. <laughs> yeah, but you could just fly anywhere in the world. and. Very true. Yeah. I don't mind reading. Mind reading. Yeah. Oh, interesting. What's DJ? What are you doing? X-ray vision. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the daddy one this time. Oh, no. <laughs> we switch. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have no idea how many have made sacrifices so you could live. If they kill you, we are all gonna die.